This is Diane Rutherford with your turn. Developers joined local officials at the former Watertown Correctional Facility last week. A tour was held as the state requests proposals to turn the facility into housing. Our first message says, what kind of housing? The kind that houses successful people or the kind that needs biohazard bins for drug needles? Andrea writes, use it for housing inmates as it was intended. And this one, get the state to level it and clear the site before it ends up being more of an eyesore than it already is. We got a look inside a condemned Watertown apartment building. The city says 232 West Main Street had bed bug and roach infestations, no working plumbing, and other code violations. Mary writes, I don't understand how someone could live like this. Stacy writes, where are the landlords and ones who are collecting the money for these places? This clearly has been a cesspool in the making for quite some time. And this one, people should be asking how the city let it get this far in the first place. Two employees with the United Helpers in St. Lawrence County celebrated 50 years on the job. Joyce Simmons and Cynthia Cota started working there in 1974. This message says, thank you for all your years of service. You are special. And this one, congratulations to you both for being so dedicated to your job. Be sure to celebrate your milestone. Thanks for your feedback. You're welcome to leave comments on future stories on our Facebook page. I'm Diane Rutherford.